Hi guys and welcome to another Divi 4 WordPress theme tutorial. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignAndTechTips.com. Well today we're going to put together this simple on-page slider here. Nice little effective slider, I've got it revolving every five seconds, I've only got two slides. Great thing to have on your site, you can have a little bit of information and a call to action button there to take your visitors or customers wherever you want to take them very easy to do with a Divi theme so let's get started I could go to a page that doesn't have that on that hopefully let's enable the visual builder we've been putting this site together in this series of video with the Divi theme Divi theme just keeps getting better and better with more and more features and it's just so easy to use if you want to take it for a test drive you can do so from my affiliate link below this video so what I'm going to do, I'm going to add a new section, little blue button right there. Green button is if you want to add a row, and there's a dark button, dark gray button, if you want to add a new module. I'm going to add a new section. I'm going to make it a regular section. Before I do anything else, I'm going to X out of that because it prompts you to put a module in. I want to give it a background color, so I'm going to go up to the section tab. Section tab is blue, row tab is green, module tab is dark gray. Hit the little cog there. I'm going to go down to background. I've got a sort of light blue color I've been using elsewhere on the site that I'm going to put in here. So I'm just going to click on there and paste my hex color in there. There we go. Okay, let's go and put our little module in. So here's our row. I'm going to give the row two columns and now it's going to prompt us to put a module in and I'm going to go down to slider. This is very similar for what we did for the full width slider at the top and it's automatically put in a little module there. It's got a background color, a title and a little call to action button. I'm going to style it the same as the rest of our site. Here's our first slide, here's our second slide. So now I'm going to go into the first slide, just hit the little cog there. I'm not going to mess with the content because I really don't have any. Obviously you'll have your content you want to put in there. I'm going to change the title to uh, Future Systems. Button, you can change that to anything you want. This is what it says on the bottom. Like I say, I'm not going to change the content. You can add a little image or a video within the slider itself if you want to. I'm not going to do that today. I'm going to keep it very simple. Now, at the moment, we've got a background color by default, which is that darker blue color, which is fine. I'm going to leave that, and I'm going to add an image also. So I'm just going to click on the image, which is got color, gradient, image, and video. Click on the image, left click. I'm going to add an image. I'll just grab the first one I see, this one, which is fine. Upload. There it is, it's in there. Now as you can see, you can't really see, I mean you can see the text, but it, it's pretty illegible. And we're going to do what we did with that slider at the top to make it legible. We're going to mess with the blend settings. So if we just scroll down a little bit, don't want to use the parallax effect. We want the image to cover the whole thing, which it's doing, and we want it to be centered, which is fine too. Don't want it to repeat. Now here's the blend mode. Now you could use an overlay. If you go to design, you've got overlay here. I'll just flip that on. And you can add a colored overlay of whatever color you want. Just select any color you want. And then change the opacity to make it see-through. And you should start seeing the picture behind it but I'm not I'm not going to use that today that's just another option for you I'm going to use the blend mode on the video that's in our background and the content here so if we slide down from the actual image itself we've got background image blend now the one I want is the one I used above multiply that works really well for me because it's it's multiplying that background color and the image together and to me you can see everything great there they've got some wonderful effects here just play with them and you can really get some fantastic things going on. Um, you just want to change your color text. 
your text color I should say to make it stand out but some of the actual image effects are absolutely stunning but as I say I'm just going to use multiply there that works perfectly for me now the only other thing I want to do is just a bit of styling to make it a little similar to our one above I'm going to make these orange like we had above and I'll style the button and these also so let's go to the design tab I'm not going to use the overlay like I just explained you can use that navigation I'm going to make the arrows orange there we go and I'm going to make the dot navigation orange also down the bottom here image not going to change anything text title text I'm not going to change anything there again well let's just capitalize the title text how's that just so we're doing something there we go okay title text color well I guess I could make that orange if I wanted to no that doesn't work for me let's put it back black so let's go down and the only other thing I want to do is style the button so we're on design and I'm going down to button I'm going to make sure it's in the middle which it already is I'm going to hit the use custom styles for button right here text size I'm not going to change that text color I'm not going to change that either button background here I want this to be orange as you can see it's changed it and the border also orange there we go the only reason I'm using orange is we used it before and it's an opposite to blue so it works quite well now if you want to set a hover state for your button so it's a slightly different color uh, or quite different color just hover over where it says button background there hit the little arrow it'll bring up two boxes desktop and hover if we hit the hover and put in a different color let's put in the blue as you can see it'll change to blue when you're hovering on it so I'll just leave that and when I'm hovering over it it's got a little icon there I don't want that little icon you may so if we scroll down a little bit more more show button icon it's actually set to no but it, I'm seeing it so I'm going to flip it to yes and then back to no and it's gone but by default if I put it back to yes it comes with all these fantastic icons from elegant themes here but like I say I'm going to flip that one off only other thing I want to do I want to give the little bit of text shadow because we've done it on the other buttons and I want to make that button sort of pill shape with rounded corners so to do that I need to go down to the border button border radius it's just under the border color here I should have said up to the border and I'm gonna put 50 pixels in there just put 50 in it'll put the PX for you there we go fantastic I'm not gonna bother with a, a box shadow on that because it probably won't stand out against that dark background so I'm fairly happy with that so I'm just gonna save hit the little check mark there I'm gonna delete the second one I'm gonna clone the first one or copy it with the two little boxes right there just gonna go in and change a couple of things that's the title and the the button taken care of and I guess I'll change the background image too again I'm going to go over to image which we got here trash the one we got there with a the little trash can icon add a background image let's use that one and there it's it just save what we got there now what we will need to do we're in the main slider settings here go to design and we want to go down to animation at the bottom and we want it to automatically animate which means it'll slide automatically without somebody having to go on it and do that so flip that to on at the moment default settings 7000 milliseconds or seven seconds I'm gonna set mine to five continue at automatic slide on hover if somebody puts their mouse over it if you've got that checked to yes it'll continue to slide to the next one if not it'll stop when they put their mouse over it. it gives them more time to read the content and actually click on the call to action button 
Okay, the only th other thing I want to do to this slide, I think I was going to put a little box shadow around it and a little border. While we're in the animation, I'll have it just doing a little fade in like that. If we go up just a little bit, let's go to border. I think I'll put a little one pixel orange border around the other one just to make it stand out. So I'm going to pop that up to a one pixel. Hit orange. There's that. I close that up only other thing I'm going to do is put a little bit of box shadow there there we have it and that's our little slider done let's save hit the little purple button save our page changes here once saved let's go up and exit the visual builder scroll down and see our little slider in action there it is it should slide after five seconds. Fantastic. Let's see if our hover effect works. You can see the button turns blue. I've got no link in there, so it's not going to go anywhere. But that's a nice little feature to have on your site. So I hope you've enjoyed that and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.